Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto was snooping around what is now Georgia in 1557 when he came upon a Native American village. And the villagers presented him and his men with a gift of turkeys and what de Soto recorded as partridges. But there were no partridges native to the New World. What de Soto had found for the first time and what was to become an icon in the southeast was the Bob White Quail. Hi, I'm Ron Spomer and this is Winchester Legends. De Soto, were he to magically return, might not recognize the gun, the colorful clothing, or the vehicles, but he'd still find his partridges and the hunters who appreciate them. Over the centuries, the little Bob White has carved a legendary niche in the hearts and minds of American sportsmen and women, and they're out to celebrate it at the annual Quail Unlimited Celebrity Quail Hunt. Three Pete, I'm keeping this gun, buddy. Winchester Legends is brought to you by She Safari, clothing for her expedition. Night and Hail Game Calls, bring them closer. Winchester Rifles and Shotguns, the guns that work. Walker's Game Ear, hear like you've never heard before and protect yourself from the harmful effects of muzzle blast. Pointing dogs and quail, a classic combination and Ashburn Hill Plantation is a classic destination where Southern tradition merges with modern convenience. Great dogs, comfortable accommodations, country cooking, and thousands of acres of bird habitat combine for an old-fashioned down-home bird hunt. Ashburn Hill lies in the heart of Longleaf Pine Savannah, near Albany, Georgia. Legendary quail country and the site of Quail Unlimited Celebrity Quail Hunt. I think we've got one over in here somewhere. Dog was. What do you think there? Oh, 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 oh. I expected to have some pretty good dog work down here because the southeast is famous for pointing dogs, and these dogs have had all kinds of experience. You could imagine with that much hunting every day in the year. I don't know what they do for training in the summer, but these dogs just definitely know their business. And that business is finding birds. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, that's a good shot. <laughs> there you go, got it, got it. Take it, atta girl. Good shot. Today, Ron is hunting with Haley Dunn a member of the U.S. Olympic skeet shooting team. Hey, it is a real treat hunting with Haley. This young woman is the epitome of what I think I would want my daughter to become, or most parents would. Yeah, that girl is a, a real credit to both the Olympic <laughs> shooting team um, and to hunting. Got him. Get him, Haley! I started actually shooting when I was about six, seven years old with uh, pistols and BB guns and, and 22s. And I went to um, US Shooting Olympic Training Center when I was 15 and started shooting for International Skeet for, for USA and they decided to keep me after they saw how I shot. And nine months later, I won the world championships in Cairo, Egypt. Hunting with an Olympic shooter has got to be intimidating right from the get-go. And she's a woman, for gosh sakes, and a young one, 21 years old. So what's an old trusty hunter going to do when he's up against a gal who can outshoot him and she's half his age? Oh. I guess you just get humble. But I've got you by one. Oh. <laughs> Your event in the Olympics is not trap shooting, but skeet shooting. International skeet shooting, yes. Skeet shooting began in the 20s and was first in the Olympics in 1968. 
This is my first year coming to the, the Quail Unlimited Celebrity Hunt. I had a friend that came um, a couple times and told me how much fun he had, and when I got invited to this year, I definitely didn't want to turn it down. It's a great event, it's a great cause, and um, I'm, I'm glad I got invited. Take him. Good shot. Take it. Nice. We double. Oh, 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 oh. That one's gonna. 100%. Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! We're, we're not good. It's private property. You've got this entire area to hunt with your party. Nobody else is going to be horning in on you. So relax, take it easy. We have plenty of birds, good dogs to find those birds. And the, the whole atmosphere is just relaxed. Relaxing for hunters, perhaps, but not the dogs. It's nose to the wind and paws to the ground for these four-legged athletes. Haley, did you say your dad had a preserve in, back in Iowa? Yes, he does. We've got pheasant, quail, and chucker. Oh, pheasant and quail in Iowa. That's a classic. I've done that. I've hunted both species simultaneously in Iowa. That's what's nice about the Midwest pheasant country, from Kansas, Definitely. Iowa, Nebraska, even up into southern South Dakota. Yeehaw! Ride em, cowboy! It's not the Wild West, but horseback quail hunting is an old and legendary tactic for following dogs and finding birds. When we come back, Haley and Ron try to stay in the saddle and shoot straight after they dismount. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Sarovsky Optic. She Safari, clothing for her expedition. Otis Technologies, the most advanced gun care system in the world. Walker's Game Ear, hear like you've never heard before and protect yourself from the harmful effects of muzzle blast. Each day's hunt begins with a hearty breakfast, where shooters lay plans for the day. Quail Unlimited was founded in 1981. We're celebrating our 25th anniversary now, and it was established to address the dwindling quail populations throughout the country. Chapters raise money at the local grassroots level and then spend that money on wildlife conservation projects, on youth programs, programs with the uh, uh, paralyzed veterans of America, getting them out into dove fields, working with kids with shooting, hunting, ethics, stewardship, and wildlife research. I've personally had the privilege of attending this event for over 12 years. Uh, what's great about it is the people, the location, uh, the, watching the dogs work, uh, the good food. And, and one of the best things about the Quail Unlimited Celebrity Hunt is it can be, a, it's available to everyone. This is probably the only event that I schedule every year on my calendar that uh, that I come to every year on an every year basis. I've only missed one event in about 10 or 12 years and it was a scheduling problem. So if that ought to tell you something, man, great people, great food. And you know, we, uh, John Smoltz and I have a place down in Albany, Georgia, and, and we're not far from here and we love coming back. Quail Unlimited has been staging this event for 20 years now. And of course the idea is raise awareness of quail and quail habitat and what needs to be done and what is being done for quail conservation. We're riding horses because we're going to have to go a long ways to find these quail. They're pretty widely dispersed throughout their habitats this here in Nick. southeast Georgia. Nick, this is in the nick of time. Yeah, Ron, you can really see those dogs good from up here. Bird's eye view. A lot of cover, and uh, you can uh, you can see the cover, and you can keep up with the dog. It's really a great way to hunt. It's the old southern traditional quail hunt. All right, dogs, let's find us a bird. For two foot hunters from the Midwest, horse transport is a novel but welcome tradition, and a nice change of pace from walking. Well, I'm a farm girl from Iowa, so when we hunt quail, we usually hunt in CRP fields, which is a little bit different from hunting down south here in Georgia. This is my first time hunting quail down here. It was nothing to go through a couple boxes of ammo. It's been a phenomenal day. 
There you go. That was a real deal there. Let me get away, Haley. Oh, good shot. Got lucky there, <laughs> oh, that's good girl. It's a rare chance for any hunter to pursue native birds in quality habitat in this day and age. Something conservationists with Quail Unlimited understand and work to protect. But you, you got feathers the first time. You got feathers out of him the first shot. You did. And then you finished him off on the second one. That full choke will reach out there and get him. We've hunted with several different dogs, Jack, Betty, and Rosie. Rosie did a great job flushing for us. We had several coveys that she moved right in for us. She held tight in the beginning, and when we said, she went in, and it was great. I had great flushes with her. Come back and join our team on the second day of their adventure when Campbell Farms hauls out another quail hunting legend the dog wagon. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Yeah! Woo. Winchester Legends is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Sarovsky Optic. Night and Hail Game Calls, bring them closer. Otis Technologies, the most advanced gun care system in the world. Winchester Rifles and Shotguns, the guns that work. A Bob White quail isn't all that tough of a bird to bring down, but they can be darn difficult to hit. That's why light loads in light, fast handling guns are so good. A target load like these AA Winchesters really works well because they're designed for clay birds, and that's about the same size as the Bob White. Choose a 28 gauge if you like, a 20 gauge or a light load in a 12, say an ounce to an ounce and an eighth, use seven and a half and eight shot. That puts a lot of pellets out there and fills in the gap in your pattern. That's really all that's required for quail. Keeping fresh dogs for an all-day hunt required a mule-drawn wagon in the old days. Tractors now do the pulling, but dogs and hunters still appreciate a relaxing ride between cubbies. When I was a young man, uh, there were a lot of property owners in this area, in Darty County, Lee County, and this entire area. And if somebody wanted to shoot quail, for example, they would ask permission to go on my uh, grandfather's land and they might shoot uh, quail and they would bring six quail, ten quail back to my grandfather or my father and that's the way it was back then. They shared in what they shot and uh, it was plentiful back then. Donnie, just through experience as hunting as a kid, I sort of learned to recognize good quail habitat where to find my birds, but that's up in South Dakota and Kansas. Now down here in Georgia with these pine trees, it's foreign to me. Well, what's, this looks like good quail habitat to me, is it? It is, Ron. It's, this is excellent quail habitat. We're here on uh, Campbell Farms today down in Southwest Georgia. And as you look around, uh, much of the United States probably when uh, settlers first came over looked like this, perfect for quail. You see that the canopy is open, allows a lot of sunlight. And quail, as you well know, are a species that like to have some open ground under their feet. Yeah. They're kind of like chickens, you know, they like to do a lot of scratching and, and finding food. But they also have to have some overhead protection. And uh, so that's what you see here. You see an open stand, uh, pines that have been thin, a lot of annual weeds and legumes and plants like we see around here that the quail uh, thrive on, not only for food, but for nesting habitat. Yeah! Woo! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey! Oh, nice.
nice ball. Did you get that one? I got that one. This little 410 is something. I'm telling you what, I have not played around with 410 since I was a kid, but quail hunting like this, when these little cubbies get up that close, man, that thing is quick and deadly. Look at how tiny that thing is. Wrap your hand around that. Snap it up. That is sweet. Scale down model 12. Tell you what, Winchester got them right when they made that. There you go. Oh, oh. Three, Pete. I'm keeping this gun, buddy. Oh, that is sweet. Nice job. Ah, nice job. 410. Who'd have thunk it? I'm going to have to get a 14. I understand now why they call it Gentleman Bob White, because it is indeed a gentlemanly way to hunt. You don't have to get out and do the nasty kicking through the mud and the blood and the tears. You can walk comfortably. You don't have to uh, fight the briars. And it's a comfortable way to hunt. And there are so many birds that you don't have to work up a sweat hoping to get to that last covey to fill out your limit by the end of the day. You can take it easy, enjoy a nice lunch, a little conversation, get back in the afternoon, find plenty of birds. Good shot. But you hit him first, didn't you? Why did you get that last one, girl? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I got so much ammo. Oh, come on. A good hunter would have had that one. <laughs> Here, ball. Be ready, honey. Here, ball. She's going to get it pointed again. There you go, girl. Yeah, you need to go to her. Get him, Rosie. Check out the back end of that one. <laughs> All right, we'll see what we can do here. Well, let's pick up that other single that went down over there. We got this one. Actually, dead really one. Good move my head here to he knows exactly where he's got to position everything right. And then just up and in. Yep. Oh, these so things competition, feel good. you don't want to have that factor. You want it to come and be in the right spot oh. every time that you put it there. Right, you know, right. So. Do you have to have a little extra cast off on your stock or anything? I don't have to, no. Um, I just, uh, the biggest problem with me is I have to have my stock shortened. Oh yeah. A lot. Because yeah, yeah. my length of pole was 12 and 3 quarters when I was 14 and now it's 13 so it didn't yeah. move very God. much. Here we go. Bring on the action. Short stock oh. or long, Haley certainly knows how to handle a scattergun. Got a little bit of time to reload. Hey, you can see the birds dropping. <laughs> Did you get any meat off that last eight birds? Yeah. Hamper they were bird? actually, yeah, they were good shot, yeah. It was ground up a little bit, but ground round. We're having quail burgers tomorrow. Compliments of my shooting partner. Now that was a Georgia quail hunt. I've been wondering what all the whoop de doo is about, but this was an incredible day. We got to ride horses, which is an old tradition down here. Got a little, well, they used to be mule-drawn wagons, but they were drawing it by a tractor now. But this is what it's all about. It's the old tradition, the family traditions on the farms, which they called plantations down here. And you just get out there and comb your grounds, either with horses or on foot, doesn't matter. It's just getting out and doing the old traditional quail hunt. Double guns, over and unders, or side-by-sides are classics, but occasionally they'll get into the old pumps, and I got to borrow that good old Winchester Model 42 410. Boy, was that sweet. Just a light, trim little gun. Great quail piece. That is sweet. Nice job. Nice ah, job. 410, who'd have thunk it? Yeah. Hunting with Ron was really entertaining. He's pretty quick on his feet and you always got to watch him because you never know what he's going to be saying next. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, it is a real treat hunting with Haley. She's articulate, she's polite, she's generous. She's just a mature 21 year old. She's 
really knows how to share a hunting field and a conversation. Just a delight to hunt with. What do you think, Haley? You having fun yet? I'm having a blast. Yeah. We uh, encourage anybody to come to the Quail Unlimited Celebrity Hunt. Uh, this southern Georgia location is a great location for quail hunting, uh, hospitality, food, dog work, and uh, good company. So we encourage everybody to come down here. Exactly what Winchester legends are made of. For more information about Winchester ammunition, log on to winchester.com.